but, but most of them. MRN Radio went on the air, I believe I'm right in saying 1970, mm-hmm. and, and you've been there every step of the way. How, how did this whole thing get started for you, Barney? Don't look. <laughs> and that's like us all, right? Yeah. Uh, just make a long story short real quick. I was in a bowling alley, uh, bowling up in my little town of Elkett where I live, and the manager of the local radio station uh, was on the team I was on, and he was just sitting there on the bench, and he said, you don't know where a man could get a good radio announcer, do you? And I said, yeah. He said, where? And I said, you're looking at it, me. <laughs> he said, do you have experience in radio? And I said, yes, sir, which was a, kind of a fib. The closest, I'd ever been, <laughs> closest I'd ever been to a radio station was an uh, Armed Forces radio network on Okinawa several years ago. Well, we got to go to break, but I want to ask you one question. Of all the races you've called in all the years, what's the one that stands out in your memory the most? It's the one, of course, with your dad and uh, David Pearson. Yeah. That, that's just one that's burned in there and will always be there. Cool. Well, Barney, yeah, it's been a long career, and, and we all hate in the NASCAR community yeah, that it had to come to an end, but we wish you the best tonight on your final broadcast. We thank you so much, not only for being with us, but everything you've given to NASCAR over the years, from a media perspective, from a fan's perspective, and as Wally pointed out, for all the drivers. Thank you so much, and we wish you all the best. Thank you guys for all your help, and uh, consider you good friends. Absolutely. Thank you. Barney Hall, a a true legend, and tonight working his final broadcast on the Motor Racing Network. We wish him all the best.